Alright guys, um, hello, um, today I'm going to be showing you the iPod Touch 2G jailbreak. This will be the untethered version. Sorry this took so long, most of my subscribers have been waiting for this video. Um, I've just been busy, I know I said this, I would make this a couple months back, but, um, it's up now. So this is the untethered version, which means you can turn it back on when it turns off, um, when you shut down. So you don't have to plug it into the computer. So this is um the better the better version I guess. So the first thing you need to get is Quick Freedom. That's really all you need. I have the link in the description. And so um yeah, so open up Quick Freedom. This will come up. Just click jailbreak. All right, the first thing you need to do is you need to install lib USB. I don't have it installed because I'm running on Vista right now. Um, okay, so in this jailbreak video, I'm not going to be showing my iPod because I do not want to re-jailbreak it because I already have, like, games and stuff on it, which will, this will reset everything on your iPod. So this will, like, make it, like, brand new, I guess. So, but, anyways, so install LibUSB, and if you're running on Vista, you have to run as compatibility and, uh, service pack 2, so just, um, just do that if you're running on Vista, and hopefully your computer doesn't like go crazy so I don't have it installed because Vista doesn't run that good when lib USB is installed so just install it temporarily and then just remove it right after or uninstall it right after you're done if you're running Vista All right, and then you need the original 2.2.1 software which is um, this thing right here um, if you just click download and then it should give you the download link here I'll show you right now Alright, see, here's the download link to save it to your um, desktop. So, and it will look something like this. Alright, after you have both check marked, both of them check marked, click next. And then after this, you could choose um, if you want installer or not. Some people just like Cydia, some people like both. I'm one of the, I'm one of the people who like both. So just check mark if you want it or not. And if you want a custom boot logo, which means um, when you turn it on it shows you like what your boot logo is um it won't let me click it for some reason but there's like a couple different options you can make your own boot logo you can, so and then after you ha have whatever you wanted done um uh just click create firmware so that's really all you need to do all right after after you uh it's done created firmware you should get something like this on your desktop it should say custom firmware um that's really all it should look almost the exact same as this but it says custom firmware so after that you need to put your iPod into DFU mode if you do not know how to do this this is what you have to do alright um you can click the instructions if you want so the first thing you need to do you need to hold both the power and the home button for about 10 seconds and after 10 seconds just let go of the power button and keep on holding the uh home button for about seven more seconds I guess and if you do need the instructions here it is so just do whatever this says and then um your iPod should be in DFU no D DFU mode and if it is in DFU mode it should say right down here it should say in DFU mode so just check down here if you know and your iPod will be a black screen it won't respond to anything it will just be a black screen and after it's in DFU mode, after you see it, it says right there, click start pre-jailbreak. And once you click um, pre-jailbreak, it will turn your iPod white. Like just plain out white and the screen is bright white and you can't see anything really. Except for a white screen. And um, don't think your iPod is broken, it should do that. And then click next. And then now it just tells you to do this. Alright, so after you have your iPod plugged in and it should be in DFU mode, um, it should tell you that, like restore and something. You can't check for updates. Like all this would be like unknown, I think. But you hold shift, so you open up your iTunes and you get to where it says uh, this part right here, your like your name's iPod or whatever. So you hold shift, the key shift, and click restore at the same time. So click restore while you're holding down shift go to your desktop and this you would click
click the custom firmware not that 2.2.1 this will just make it the same exact thing that you just had you have to click the custom firmware and just open it and that will practically jailbreak your iPod you just have to wait and uh, wait like 10 minutes I think and your iPod should be jailbroken it's not that hard they made it pretty simple this time guys um, and now it says your jailbreak is jailbreak is uh, or now your iPod is now jailbroken so that's really simple um, it's not that really hard I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll probably make another one of these iPod videos pretty soon because I have got some new things and hope you guys enjoyed subscribe rate comment um, make sure you uh, subscribe so thank you for watching guys